lot of arm side away to righty sink. Okay, Franny. The other guys just got five. It doesn't matter about like the number right away. Just say we're here. We're not going anywhere. Get some outs after that. One on one to Cesar, who, along with Josh Bell, is third in the uh, National League with with a walk against Valdez. Way inside, and how did it miss him? Quick who? Ball hit the plate, it sounded like. And easy for the lefty. It's home run, too. Juan's also hit safely in nine of his last ten games. And Valdez spins him out right there. Lefty, lefty, but the Astros play a shift on. And there's a fly ball to the left. Alvarez cruising back. in left hand. That's why he's 345. He's been amazing. And he's actually faced Valdez. And the guy's done what his skipper Dusty Hall either won an assistant. Snit's son, too. Yeah. Brian Snicker. Yeah, Troy Snitker is one of their hitting curve their shot to be the pitching coach here. They came up with the, a lot of these guys. Oh, look at Bell go the other way. Sweet swing. Tucker to pick it up. And Josh Bell is nearing 350 now with the batting average. And that'll. In fact, everybody in the American League knows Nelson Cruz very well. He's been in the AL until now. Has spent his entire career since in the AL until coming to the Nets. He is so different from start to start. You could think he's going to throw curveball, curveball, curveball. One and two now. He tried to paint down and in. Wow. In fact, the pitcher looked like he was taking a step toward his dugout. Didn't get the call from Jeremy Riggs. Stay there. You'll get that call. Yep. 2-2. Two, two. He lashes one the other way. Look out, Josh. He had to dance out of the way. Heading for third. Tucker, his throw cut off. And the Nats have a corner situation in games. They're going to overload the left side. Way outside. We've seen one really good curveball out of. Big count here, 2 0. I was wondering about the defense. They're playing him to pull. The first two pitches were off speed away. Then he misses upstairs, and it's ball. Taking all the way on 3 0. How crazy is baseball when you have the fact that Josiah Gray throws 21 pitches in the first thing, gives up five runs? Ruiz left side. It'll be cut off by Brigman. Ooh. Took Altuve a moment to. Franco, sixth in the league with nine doubles on the air. Lineup seeing Valdez for the first time. I mentioned Hernandez, Bell, and Cruz had faced him. And a nasty 0 2 breaking ball in the dirt. First strikeout. Tonight in Lane Thomas, who's hitting 320 against Southpaws, gets the start. And nice high hop left side for Brigman to cut it off. Opponents have turned 36. Not every one of them on the ground, but most. And there's Escobar at 220. 70% ground balls last year. That's for pitcher. Sinker. Escobar hits it well out to left. Alvarez right there. Nets go in order, bottom two. And they're going to move Altuve to the left side of second. What a good fastball under the hands inside edge. It's like you. 
They're a plus 20 home run differential. Yeah, saw that. Plus 20. 40. Yeah, plus 39 right there. <laughs> and the one, two. Two, two. And he started calling. And Victor was surprised by that breaking ball, couldn't pull the trigger. Came into this game seventh in the National League and run scored. Now, some of those numbers skewed. There have been, and you could hear that from any manager in any division. 1 1. Yeah, I brought him. A tapper foul, 1 and 2. Now he's starting to introduce the changeup. Breaking, they are tonight. But their pitching has been superb. Down and in. And strikeout number three. All right. Are to a certain extent showing up what the opposition had done. And when Juan hit that homer in the fifth, and the Nats took a 3 2 lead on the Soto Blast, and they never gave up that lead. I mean, did Juan Soto go? Soto. He'll shuffle away from that one. 3 0. And he will get it evidently low around the knees, outside edge. Soto unleashes one down the left field line. Got some carry, but slicing and out of play. 3 2 now, and Soto spits on it. He does look back just to make sure. That's right at the middle. The only hope was that if it had grazed the bag, but it missed it, and El Tuve threw him out. Nats haven't put a leadoff man on yet. Pretty good tailing heat to the outside edge. He is yet to throw anything. Well, that's a good trade if you have command. And he's shown he's got the command with it. 47 pitch. Cruz. High fly ball right field Tucker going back. He almost visited the scoreboard one out. Just into. <laughs> going the other way not a bad swing but it's right at Tucker. I've been all over the place. And will be for a long time. That's an interesting weekend because on Friday, then a 105 uh, early game on Sunday with Peacock handling things for his then first strikeout. Michael not biting on that one. We've seen a few guys use the the pitch com, and we've seen a few guys use it on the shin guard. But right there on his right knee. Bronco two hopper it backed up Bregman just a bit. Plenty of time he throws out his third base counterpart and to stay low on it. But I still think the most important of the exchange later on. He was ready to throw. Josh Bell approved. Six unless you just had a bullpen whose arms were hanging all over the place. Josiah Gray's at 77 pitches. He may get another frame or more. We'll see how Davey. I mean, I think he's earned his way. Thomas, a chopper left side. Brinkman on the move. Then we had time. I think one of the interesting things to watch. I feel like. And maybe I'm wrong for saying this because he's given up six runs, but I've seen more quality pitches out of him within the zone. Josiah, but he's going to certain quadrants that he's getting soft contact at times. He's only given up one hit since that first inning. 0 oh, 2 to Escobar. Bob, check this out. Straight up. What do I do now? Swing hard in case you hit it. Wow. 
Outfield the other way a bit. The bottom five. Nasty breaking ball diving. Strikeout number four. On the edge to Victor who struck out looking on a break. Miles now are different than his fastball. Nice. Right side base hit. Nobody home. Umpire's got to die for that ball. What you think with two outs? And Victor gets a base hit. He's one on the road. It's crazy. That's the widest spread of any ball club in the last 17 years. And this one out to left caught by Alvarez. That's it. As says the timing of Valdez who's ready to rock and roll here. And a big swing by Juan. Well, so Maldonado gives the Dusty's bench coach, good baseball man. Did you see that by Maldonado? He peeled the pitch ground off his soda. <laughs> We outside. And a rocket right back up the middle. Chuck and Duck. Juan Soto has a six game streak and he's on for the second time tonight. And a little something going on there. And a first pitch breaker, a good one to Josh Bell. Oh, cut off by Guriel. Who's going to take the return throw? It'll be him. Nelly Cruz has gone the other way twice. Fielding percentage wise, the only one in the American Yankees. Yeah. The Yankees and the Royals are the only teams in the American League with fewer errors than Houston. Cruz left side. Bregman cuts off another. Their corner infielders have been cutting off so hitting streaks extended by a couple of Nats tonight. And here we go bottom seven. That's only the 79th pitch. Yeah, I was uh, seeing something that it, and you can't throw out a bad start. But he got wrecked pretty consistent as he makes his seventh start here. The Nats have had only one at bat tonight with a runner in scoring position. And that was Ruiz Grounder ending the first with John. Ooh, that was close. And to get ahead of him twice. Ah, got the sinker up a little bit. So the fastball hit for a base hit. And then that's F first and second. Nobody out. When you try to pull this guy, soft contact. When you go middle of the field the other way, you give yourself a better chance. Right there, 107. He goes to right field. Backing up Tucker. Ball takes him to the track. That'll enable Ruiz to tag and go to third. Nowhere for Franco to go. First out. <laughs> Listening to you talk about this guy tonight, I'm getting the feeling that it's impossible to guess anything he's. First and third, one out. To short, a bobble. That'll cost him any chance at a double play. And do the same thing. Couple of breaking balls now to get Robles 0 2. Steady diet of hooks here. Wow. Four consecutive hooks. Robles batter, one of the league leaders in hits. 0 for 3 against him today. Terrell. Kevin Franz and I stared in amazement at their game notes with only seven relievers off of Altuve. Down he goes, and you figure it's got to be. It's got to be a hit. Hit number fly ball, a walk, and a single. A ball roasted up the middle last time. 
And that's a the fourth cutter. Juan Soto Bale. He backed up on that one too. I think it might be enough for him. Down and away. The Mets yep. have had their leadoff man on now. Two one. Oh, outside edge. I think when one's going well, that's a double down the left field line right there. He's just not picking up that cutter. And again, I did. Oh, he's going to get him on both sides of the plate. Just. Bell knows he's got to be hacking, and it's out to center. McCormick barely had to move two outs. So here's Nelson Cruz, one for three. Swinging from the heels. There's a the ball, hammered into center. Oh, wow, right into the breadbasket of McCormick. And I thought he came real close to playing that into three or four bases.